Hi, Taurus. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm going to be doing a love reading for you um, in this current energy. If anything else pops out other than love, I'll make sure to tell you. But for the most part, this is a love reading. There will be an extended at the very end of this video. So if you're interested in that, then the link will be in the search box down below. All right, let's jump right in for you. I hope that you're doing amazing, Taurus. Let's see. What's going on in Taurus's love life? Anything significant? Anything significant going on in Taurus's love life? Give me some cards, please. All right, let's see. Oops. Interesting, okay. Hmm. The fool's on the bottom of the deck, and there we go. The fool's on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like a lot of you guys are starting something new in your love life. You want a new beginning. Um, you want to start a new page. You're just on to moving forward. You're not allowing anything to stop your progress. You're all about moving forward and, and keeping it going. We do have the death card here. So I do feel like for some of you, you could have just experienced a breakup or ending with someone that you definitely care deeply about, okay? You also have the six of wands in reverse. So there is someone here who could feel like because of the ending or the breakup, now they're not being viewed in, in the best light. And I don't feel like only from you, Taurus. I feel like from the people surrounding the relationship, like maybe like your family, your friends, their family, their friends, I don't know. It's almost like they feel like people took your... Oh my God, do y'all see that fly? Anyway, <laughs> it's almost like um, they feel like people took your side and only your side and they're looking down on this person with that six of wands in reverse. This could be someone who really cares about what people think about them or their reputation. They really care about that, what people say. So this person is very worried about what people are going to think about them. All right, with that six of wands in reverse. Hmm. You also have the three of cups here. So you definitely could be going out a little bit more with your friends, going on a little outing, having fun. It's almost like someone is experiencing a breakup or, you know, a separation, but they're not allowing it to get them down. They're actually in really good spirits. This is equivalent to someone who still believes in love, even after going through a tough situation. It's like, I'm not going to now say, oh, I don't believe in love. I'm done. There's someone who still very much wants love. There's someone that still very much wants a relationship, a commitment, monogamy. And it could be my feminines, okay, with that Queen of Cups. It's like your heart is still very pure. You know, your heart is still full. Your heart is still pure. Yes, I went through some things. Yes, I went through a breakup. But, geez, I feel really, um, I still feel like, you know, there's someone out there for me. And the Hierophant. I still want monogamy. I still want a traditional relationship. I don't care what happened in the past. I don't care if that didn't work out for me and I thought that was my one. I'm not going to become sad or depressed over it and soak in my feelings. I could do that for a week or so, but now today we're turning a new leaf and we're getting out there and we're having a good time. So if you are dealing with the situation, Taurus, I feel like you are handling it very well, better than maybe your counterpart. I also feel like someone here just really cares about their reputation. And it, it's starting to, maybe that's making you think about someone's like motives the whole time. It's like, damn, all you care about is what people think about you. But you do you care about anything else pertaining the breakup or the relationship? It's interesting, okay? So there's that. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards for you, Taurus. I feel like you're going to be fine. You look like you're handling it well. You're still getting out there. You're still like, you know, I know that my person's out there for me. You still want love. You still want monogamy, marriage, whatever it may be. You still want a family, blah, blah. But who is this person? I mean, I guess we'll get to it. 
All right, let's talk about this breakup or this ending. Tell me about the death card, please. What's going on with the death card? Scorpio energy with that death card, of course. Let's see what's going on here. Four of Wands, yeah. There was a relationship that broke up. It could be really sad because the Ten of Pentacles was the potential or the energy surrounding the connection. So this was supposed to be forever. This was supposed to be the person that you, you know, married and died with. This is the person that you guys are supposed to have a family together, a home together. This is the person that, you know, you introduced into, to your family. They became part of your family, but it ended. What else can you tell me about the death card? What was the reason for the breakup? Let's talk about that. What was one of the major reasons of this situation ending? Queen of Cups. Wow. So feminines, did you break up with someone? Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups energy, okay? So that lets me know that you're single again. You're back on the prowl. You thought it was perfect, but you don't know how, okay? First of all, uh, feminine's emotions or or sensitive side was not was being ignored. Hmm, communication also could be a big issue too, because in this card I'm seeing like a crumpled letter. So like, almost like someone feels like they weren't getting reciprocated communications or feelings. Someone's feelings weren't being uh, what's the word? considered about a certain situation. Tell me more. I feel like that's so basic. Give me the deepest of the deep. Let's see. Ooh, Ace of Wands too. The spark is gone, baby. I don't know. You. It feels like something that had like a very strong bliss in spark and such exciting energy lost its excitement. Sex also could have been super bad or sex could have been non-existent, something like that. Like something lost its spark because someone wasn't nurturing a connection, period, okay? Who is this person, Six of Wands in reverse? Please don't tell me this is you, Taurus, okay? I'm not judging. If this is you, we just don't have to talk about it, friend, okay? But who is the Six of Wands in reverse? Let's see. Oh, the five of wands, a very conflicted individual. I feel like someone stands for something one day and then the, the next day they stand in on a different somewhere else. You know, it's like, dang, where, what do you stand for is what I'm hearing. What do you stand for? Because you flip flopping like crazy with that five of wands. This is also someone who really cares about what people think, because I feel like this is someone who allowed others to get in their head and they believe that over their own inner voice. Um, and that is like, you know, as humans, we do care what people think, right? But I feel like someone allowed others to make the decisions for them in their life versus just trusting their own intuition, instinct, whatever. So with that five of wands, that's who this person is, very conflicted. Even to this day, I feel like this person might feel like, because look, this person's coming up as the nine of pentacles. So Virgo energy or someone who really um, loves their independence. They don't like to be codependent. This could be someone who, it almost feels like with this person being a nine of pentacles, they don't know how to, what's the word? I want to say this just the right way, because this is really what is a struggle for this person. I feel like this person struggles with like having a partner and relying on them, like someone has like almost like that only child syndrome. And I can say that because I'm the only child, okay? Where they just, wrote, they don't like relying on others. They don't like, it's like this person does never likes to um, make, they don't like to feel like they're coming off as needy or they don't like to be let down. So they don't rely on others. And there's also this other energy of not liking to ask for help when they do need help. So if this person had internal struggles, it's almost like you would never know, okay? Um, and yes, okay, six of wands, okay? So who is dissing this person? Because there's some people who are just not liking this person's energy right now. 
Um, who are these outside people? The world. Oh, is your person like a celebrity? Not the world and the hermit. Okay. Is this person hiding from everybody? Like, what's up? It's like this person just thinks everybody doesn't like them. And I feel like it could be true right now. It's like, okay, the world doesn't have to be the whole wide world, but it could be like this person's whole community, the people that they see day to day, maybe even people on social media with that world card. It's like, damn, you know, everybody's against me. But it's based off of this person, something that happened, that they're, that people do not agree with this person. They don't like what, what, what happened and they're not afraid to say it or show it. So this person is facing a lot of, it feels like pushback or, sla or you know, yeah, three of swords. They're not handling it the best. This person is, uh, you know how like some people can't handle if, if certain people don't like them? It really messes with their self-esteem. I feel like this person is really struggling with that. The world, um, hermit and a three of swords. So that's kind of sad. I don't really like that. That kind of makes me a little sad for this person. Even if they put themselves in that predicament, you can still, you know, sympathize. All right, three of cups is what's going on in your love life. So you could be asked on dates. There also could be like friends who have crushes on you. Like a certain friend could be eyeing you now that you're single. <laughs> That's shady. All right, let's see. What's the three of cups, please? I just see you having a lot of fun and dating if you are dating. And you're being very like loose. You're not, you, you know, you're not mad because you and this person broke up. You're like, okay, I want you to be happy. I wish the best for you. I'm going to go. You know, now I'm open to date other people to see who else is going to be on my energy. What's the three of cups? All right, eight of cups, yes. And you are, you could be going out a lot, dating, um, hanging out with your friends because you are just trying to distance yourself from your past relationship or this situation. You're trying to distance yourself. You're trying to create distance where you're no longer maybe even associated with this person. I know that sounds harsh, but maybe that also helps you heal, especially for those of you who are in the spotlight with that world card, because I do six of wands in the world is like someone who is in the spotlight. So you may just be trying to like, you know, it's almost like, say like Jay-Z and Beyonce broke up, right? Um, but there's no hard feelings, but it's like, okay, now every time Beyonce goes to an interview, she doesn't want to hear Jay-Z's name. So she has to distance herself so that others can see, oh, it's no longer Jay, Jay and Bay. You know, it's like, it's just Bay. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what's going on. You're just trying to distance yourself. You're trying to get that out of your head. You're not trying to soak in that energy. You may be sad. You may mourn your relationship or your situation, but you're not trying to stay in that energy. So I see you just do, you know, picking up the pieces. Very strong, Taurus. I don't know how you're so strong. Let's see. Yeah, Ace of Swords, exactly what I just said is the truth. All right, so tell me about this Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups could be you, Taurus. Um, whether you're masculine or feminine, I just feel like you are the more sensitive lover in that situation. It almost felt like you were dating like air sign energy or someone who's very closed off emotionally and you were the very emotional, sentimental one, and you still have that about you. You didn't change that just because something didn't work out. You didn't let someone steal that lovable side of you. What's the Queen of Cups or King of Cups? Seven of Pentacles. You're realizing that patience, patience and you'll meet the one. Patience and you'll find the situation that works well with you and you won't have to fight it to comply. You won't have to fight to make it work, you know? Um, you won't have to fit a circle in a square, that kind of thing. So patience and you'll get exactly what you want here with that nine of cups. And it feels like it is coming towards you, honestly. Like the universe could be testing you right now just to see how patient are you. And then that nine of cups is like, you're going to be doing it like it's your B-day, you know? Like anything that you want, everything that you want in the connection is going to come towards you. You're going to get exactly what you want spoiled by the universe. All right, the higher thing, you're still interested in monogamy. Even if you're dating right now, you're dating for something serious. You want a serious connection. You want something that's stable, grounded, that has potential to go long term. That's what you wanted even when you first started this connection. 
So it's not going to change just because that didn't work out. You know, sometimes like we go through a breakup and then it's like, all right, my whole phase about to start up, start up again. I was loyal, but now I'm about to be a hoe because that didn't work out. It's like you're not doing that. You're like, nope, too old for that. Let's just move on, on to the next. There's going to be another person out there on my page. All right. Um, hmm. Page of Wands. What's interesting is that you might find this new connection faster than you think. Page of Wands is all about like discovery. And you might find a connection that's more connected than you think. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more about that. Maybe coming to you faster than you could imagine. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. The lovers. It looks like a connection is coming in for you very soon seems like it's out of nowhere but it's very exciting you will be very attracted to this person with the page of wands and this person will want monogamy hmm it's almost like a test right because you know when you go through a breakup sometimes the horns can come out it's like oh i'm about to spite this person i'm gonna throw dirt on their name but it's almost like whoever this is i'm speaking to you let things unfold naturally you let the public or you know whoever is invested in this relationship see naturally how this person is. You didn't talk bad on their name. You didn't curse them to hell. You're like, people will see. And I don't even want people to see, but it's just gonna naturally come out because people will see the real. And you left very gracefully and you're still in this very positive energy. Like, okay, what else is out there for me? And it looks like you're about to find that. Interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and get your last words before. Um, yeah, we're about to get your last words. If you guys want to follow me to the extended after I do your last words, I'm going to go to your extended. We're going to go deeper into these messages. We're going to talk more about this person. If you're curious, uh, we're going to talk about what's going on in their life that you may not know. We're going to talk about what period of your love life are you walking in? Is it new love? Is it old love coming back? Is it just healing? We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this person's next actions towards you. And we're going to talk about the outcome between you guys potentially. Also, since new love does look like it's coming in for you, I will pull a spread at the very end of the extended talking about who is coming towards you that's new love. So you can just, you know, get a little clue in. But first, let's get your last words, okay? Let's get your last words, Torin. Hold on, y'all. I've been wanting to open this water since I started the reading. Oh. That's so good. All right. Let's see. Let's see, Taurus. All right. Give me some last words, please, for my Tauruses dealing with the situation. Anything significant, please? For my Tauruses dealing with this situation, let's see. Any anything for my Tauruses dealing with this situation? Give me some cards. Oh, okay. All right, party time, period. I see you going out with your friends more, hitting the club, hitting the lounge, hitting the uh, amusement park, the arcade, anywhere fun, bowling, but you're just outside and you're having a good time and you're not letting this bring you down in the best way possible. I'm pretty sure that you had your time that you did feel down about the connection and that you were going through it, but now you're about to flip the script. So good for you, I love this for you, I really do. Okay, let's see what else is coming out. We have what is love. Okay, so this card means it's basically someone who just feels like they don't know how to love properly. Um, excuse me. They could feel this way maybe because in their childhood, in their adolescence, maybe they felt like they weren't loved by a family member. It's equivalent to those people, and you may even be one of these people, Taurus, where your parents didn't show you affection, so you don't know how to receive affection or give affection. You feel weird even when your friends try to hug you goodbye. You're like, ooh, that's gross, you know? So it's very equivalent to that energy of what is love. I need to redefine that. 
I need to see what does that really mean because I don't really understand it that well. All right, spring. Um, maybe you had a spring fling. That's not funny. Maybe you did have a spring fling and it, it unfortunately only lasted in the springtime. So I don't know, but something significant in the springtime is coming up, okay? You could be dating or dealing with a December Sagittarius or Capricorn. Something significant could happen this December for you. Um, let's see, we have you make me happy. Okay, interesting. Hmm. That's very interesting if that's your past person saying that. We also have January Capricorn or an Aquarius that you could be dealing with. All right, January could have been very significant. Tired of the drama, okay? No more drama for your mama, okay? Um, depression is here. So some of you guys could have struggled with this, but it looks like you guys are doing much better and you're getting out and you're not just soaking in the home. So good for you. Maybe you're dealing with, maybe your, your ex or the person that you could be, you know, trying to figure things out with, maybe they're struggling with this and maybe that's why you're not getting the best of them, okay? Um, threesome. Some of you guys, this could talk about an actual threesome. Some of you guys, this could talk about third party interference. Like, you know, maybe this person was dealing with someone else. There was a third party, threes a crowd, that kind of energy. Traveling soon. Maybe you're taking a trip soon. Maybe this person is. We have manipulator. So some of you guys could have felt very much manipulated by this person. Fake page is here too. Who is following you from a fake page? Is it the third party or is it your ex person? All right, car secrets is interesting because first of all, car secrets could be like maybe someone cheated on you and you found out because of you found something in their car or maybe your car, someone was taken around cheating on you. Hopefully not. Car secrets could just mean like something something secretive was happening in a car, okay? Um, could be dealing with a cancer or something significant could have happened around cancer season. Wait, did cancer season pass already, right? Yeah, duh. <laughs> I'm no good for you is coming out, okay? And last but not least, we have happy birthday. Wow, are you going to hang out with a Virgo friend very soon? Are you? Or a Libra, maybe, okay? Good for you. All right, with that being said, Torin, I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna take this to the extended. If you wanna see what's gonna happen in extended, the link is in the description box down below. Definitely guys, go check out my website. Oh, I don't even have it up. I'm like, it is kinda like, hold on. Um, is this it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, definitely, oh, here it is. Check out my website, Dream Tarot Store for um, personal readings, spiritual products, and more. I do have some new candles. If you haven't seen, they're on my website. Super, super cute. Smell amazing. Very luxurious line of candles. I don't know if y'all can see that well. Okay, whatever. You can see clearer pictures on my website, so go check that out. I also have new jewelry. We do have the hands of hand iced out um, necklaces back in stock, and I have new bracelets on there as well, so go check it out. With that being said, guys, I love you so much. I'll see some of you guys in extended. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like this video. Comment down below. Let me know what your situation is. It may help someone else watching another tourist that you guys could be going through the same thing. And subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. All right, guys. Bye.